The Minister of Interior, Bumi Tunji Ojo, on Tuesday said that 55,000 out of the 200,000 passports backlog had been cleared. The minister promised that more would be cleared before the end of the two-week deadline given to the Comptroller General of Immigration, adding that after the backlogs are cleared, Nigerians should be able to obtain their passports within a space of two weeks. Arise News Analyst Dayo Shibwale joins us now to discuss efforts of the minister in this direction, as well as what measures that could be put in place to facilitate the processing and issuance of passports. Good afternoon, Mr. Shibwale. We're glad to have you. Pleasure being here, as usual. Yes. This right. passports matter. I know this that passport. <laughs> I know that Cheta is is very passionate about it, and you find out why. But okay. based okay. on the, um, you know, what's there are different figures I've seen. I saw that sixty thousand passports are out of the backlog of two hundred thousand um, have been cleared so far. Do you think that this um, the backlog will actually be cleared during this time frame that's been given by uh, to the Georgia? minister? You have to give the minister some credibility. Especially since it's a new one. Mm -hmm. And he said that very soon Nigerians will be able to get their passport two weeks. Well, I will not say it's backing at the moon. But given the background to this story, um, so many things have been said about why Nigerians wait for six months mm -hmm. and so on and pay exorbitant amount to get uh, their passport out. Well, I read somewhere that the server of the uh, Nigeria Identity Management Commission, MC. which issues the national identity number, broke down a long time ago. I think, you know, that's part of digitalization. But in Nigeria, like somebody said, once you want to go to computerize or to go, go functional electronically, people will want to sabotage it because some people will think it will get them out of work. It happened in the banking industry when the ATMs came. The Bureau of Labor Union told staff that they will be sacked when the computerization of the ATM starts functioning, but they have not been sacked. And as a result, people were, you are supposed to put crisp new notes in the ATMs, but well, they put, they put, uh, uh, you know, soggy, soggy notes, dirty, so, that gets stuck in the throat of the ATM, and then you see long queues. That was the marketing then. So people will come to me and say, oh, look, we have computerized, we are still having, are we are having long queues. This is an analogy to what is happening here. I learned that the server of the NIMC failed. And as a result, if you don't know somebody, you know you, know you are supposed to apply online for passport. So people who have experienced delay, or people who have not been able to get their passport or renew it, have been asked, uh, who, is, who is helping you here? That is the passport office. You know, you have passport offices all over the country. You have three in Lagos. They will always ask you. If you say, I did it online, they say they will just look elsewhere and laugh. Which means you must have somebody in the big journal office, in the human rights and identity, something. But you see, I think what they should do, that should be integration between immigration service, mm -hmm. uh, national identity management uh, commission, and those, you know, the facilitators of the identity card. The ones did the BVN, you all have BVN now. Yes. Uh, and nobody is being delayed as a result of that. But they have to do that. Or, although the minister is there now, Maybe, you know, Nigerians, once they see a new broom, it cleans, everybody's alert. I hope the minister will not rest on his words and monitor them and eliminate the corruption and the delay. Or outsource. There's something called outsourcing. If the uh, server is not working, they should know that their service delivery will be costly in terms of people delaying mm -hmm. those who want it and asking for money, and then it will give them a bad reputation. So they should have source. Our source is renting skills or buying skills you don't have. If your server is not working, you are stuck. Yes. Right. 
Uh, but you want you have to provide service because people are getting salaries. What they should do is find a good software or find data uh, uh, data companies. You get me? That they can be sure they have uh, they, they have uh, confidentiality. You get me? They have integrity and efficiency. And that they, they can make the service available. Mm. Just that to, is what people do. Just to buttress your point, what I actually mm -hmm. read was that the server uh, crashes intermittently. That yes. is one of the reasons uh, why we have this delay. But you hammered on something which I find very important. You talked about corruption yes. within the you know within the agency. I know what uh, Mr. Olubumbi Tunji Ojo has said is that he's given a matching order for yeah. the immigration service to dismantle all the bottlenecks. So it's still almost a very general overview, not necessarily saying these are the things that we're going to stop. But, but it has yielded some results. Yes, we can has. deliver uh, at least a quarter of the backlog. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they, are, they still fear the new boss. <laughs> so they are still but still you can be sure the touts. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been there before. Oh, they are, yes, they are permanently close. there. You get me? Mm -hmm. It's a sabotage of the computerized, digitalized system. You get me? They want to turn it into a manual thing from which touts and those working there can benefit from. Yes. They don't. They, they, it has always been there. Uh, even the, the time of uh, uh, the former Minister of Interior, Alec he, you know, he was very strict. Is anybody who gave bribe to any immigration officer, or anybody anywhere there, will be taken to the police. That worked for some time. But then, you will see no Nigerians. Nigerians are uh, <laughs> well, crafty <laughs> law. They survive under all circumstances, and you need, this, is, this is part of it now. You see, some of people are not paid salaries, but they, they, they still feed their family. They, they live in society. It is because of this sort of uh, bureaucracy that delays, that create corruption. The minister should look into it. Find them an efficient server. If the server is not working, outsource. Get me rent it and find a way. Because they are involved in service. People want to travel for courses. And Nigerians are traveling abroad. I'm not saying they are running away. Many Nigerians, students, because of what is happening on the ground, the strikes at the universities, they go overseas. But those who are processing these things look, know that the cost of going overseas is very high. So the assume people like you must be very rich. Mm. So they throw swana in the worst cost delay. So they can, that's corruption. That's red tape. So the minister should nip that in the board. That is his assignment. Well, um, Mr. Shabwell, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you're thrilled with, you know, the progress that's been made. And of course, I have so many more questions for you, but yes. director says it's time to call it a day. Yeah. So thank you for your insight. And thank you for being here on this day. We appreciate you as always. Thank you. Yes.